Do you, Loot Crate? Do you? Hey guys, this is Fire with the Loot Crate DX box. This is, in fact, my first box. And I have already unboxed it, but Luna got in the way. And she will continue to get in the way. So please. Please. Watch my video. <laughs> I like how the, the X and the D symbol is my frustration with this box. <laughs> I really thought this was cute on the label thing. And I tried not to cut it because I kind of want to keep it. This is the quote from Lolita. Battle Angel who did good in the box office and hopefully we can get a second movie. But as you can see, this box is very, very thin. And just like with my Harry Potter box, I'm always worried about thin boxes. The Loot Crate DX box is supposed to be DX double the size of any other box that they have, in my opinion. I've seen people unbox these in the past and they looked great. They're good like giant hoodies and book bags and stuff like that. Um, Loot Crate just announced their Loot Crate sci-fi box. So right now it just seems like they're doing way too many boxes. But I'm going to show you what's in this box. Because I'm not sure if I'm disappointed or not. I don't know. But I got this box because it's Lolita. Um, what is it? Power Rangers. Transformers. Avatar. And I forgot what the other one was, but it was every, I knew every anime that was in this box. So let's start with the best item. Oh, Avatar. The best item would be the Avatar item because I love Avatar. Best item hands down. Number one would be Aang in his elemental mode. And these should be the symbols. I believe this one is the fire symbol, I think, but I know these are the symbols. And this actually glows in the dark. I tried to record it. You can only get a faint light and that's one of the things I love that it glows in the dark. And this is a great print nonetheless. I'm trying to get the Funko that's Aang in his um, elemental mode. When he's on the scooter and it glows, but that's the chase one, which sucks. If they make an elemental mode with Aang, with like the the circles around, I want it. Because I know people are going to try to sell it out of the Wahoo, and I don't appreciate that. And I'm going to try and get it when it releases. If they do it. And I'm sure they do, because I'm sure people request it. Can you see it? It's faint. Oh, it looks like it's trying to go away again. But it's there. And it's awesome. So I was wondering why there's no artist before. It's because it is licensed by Nickelodeon, but Loot Crate made this themselves. Next is the Battle Angel Lolita figure. It's a Loot Crate exclusive, which the brand is Loot Crate, but normally they have Loot Crate DX on these items. And this is probably why. Become a fierce... Motorboro competitor with help from this black and white Alita Battle Angel anime figure very inspired by the originals character drawings. Luna. Now this is her. It's a Muar black and white figure of her in her battle outfit. And it's really weird because it's black and silver so... Her eyes are still nice. Her hair has the layers, which I compliment them for in the other statue that I got with the Loot Crate anime, which is the reason why I got the DX, because I knew there was a little, little item, but I didn't know it was another statue. Now on back of the box, it says Alita Battle Angel found in pieces rebuilt by a cybernetic doctor alita awakens in the future world with no memory of her past join alita as she learns to navigate the streets of iron city and the sport motorball with this alita angel figure originally included in november 2008's loot anime crates this black and white figure variant exclusive for dx was inspired by alita's original character drawings so the one on the right was from the Loot Crate anime box because 
I got that one. I didn't realize that I had waited so long for this box to get here. Loot Crate does have great customer service when it comes to showing people or telling people when stuff is going to be late or if your item didn't come in a box. But these were both licensed by 20th Century Fox and they were made for Loot Crate. Next would be the Green Rangers and Credibild help stop Rita Repulsa and all her menacing monsters. Transform the Green Ranger into his Dragon Zord with this 3D wood model and poster. Licensed by uh, Saban. Saban. Made by the Incredibles. Oh, there's a poster inside too. I didn't know that before. So this is 126, I think it said. 100... I don't remember. I don't know where it says it. 127 piece wood puzzle. No glue needed. You just gotta try not to break the pieces of the wood. So this is my third pick. I actually like this. I probably won't try it. I might. And it's cool if they have a poster of the Green Ranger in here because Green Ranger's Tommy and people love Tommy. Not like they don't like the other Power Rangers. But Tommy is like still active in the Power Ranger zone. And he was like three Rangers. So they're supposed to be coming out with a Power Ranger. Oh, here it is. A Power Ranger movie or something. The color tripped me out for a second. This is a really good looking poster. Dun, 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 dun. Illustrated by Ghani Montes. Did a great job, buddy. I like the flames. Squish. And the water. Water dragon. So this is their info card. I just decided to look at it real fast. So they have the Flash's hat. They have Iron Man. They have the gauntlet. All off. I mean, the only 3D puzzles I've done is those little plastic ones. We have a turtle, a panda. There's one on the back that I really liked. Now, if I can get the Harry Potter house thing, I'd do it. Depending on how big it is, I'd so do it. You have the Niffler, the train, the turntable. And you have some Star Wars stuff. Some of these puzzles are super small, and I am not messing with it. Next would be our Loot DX pin, which is the Transformers. I don't know who this is. He's green and purple. I have no idea. Is this Megatron? But in green and purple, he has a truck scoop. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so the pamphlet says this is the G1. Um, inspired. So it's inspired. It's not like an ex exact copy of one. And I tried to figure out G1, which would be one of the originals. Uh, I probably wouldn't know anyway. And here we go. The last item. This is the apparel. This is a hoodie shirt with a string. So the, the Japanese letters do in, uh, do in fact say Iron Man. This was made by Jesse Sands. And it is the original outfit of Iron Man, his original suit. Um, you can see through it and it shows a diagram of everything that he's wearing and what it is. I do not like the shirt. Not that I don't like the illusion itself. It's just I'm not... I like the cutaway part. It's just not something I would wear. It's a thing. It's an homage to the original Iron Man, so I don't mind it so much. It's just not something I would wear. And that is it for the Loot Crate DX box. Will I get this box again? Um, this box is pretty much fifty dollars. Um, it's not. It's not my cup of tea. Like I said, they just did a sci-fi box now. I'm not sure whether they're going to become one of those box subscriptions that start cutting out you know prices 
and doing stuff with their other boxes, you know, then everything is like cheaply made and stuff like that. That's not how Loot Crate was built. And if they start doing that mess, they're going to lose subscribers because that's how some other people do. If they start putting like, like stuff from Loot Crate boxes into DX boxes, people are going to hate it. So, yeah, I will update you on my other subscription boxes. I know I haven't been doing a lot of things lately. I just got a new, I guess you could say, promotion. I started working 40 hours a day and, I mean, you know, a week and it's messing up my sleeping schedule. So, yeah, I, I still love you guys and I will do some more videos later tell me below and what what item you like the most because i'm still gonna love the avatar one love you avatar goodbye